In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the Little Hood Rat. This is the baby brother to the original hood rat that I developed. This is great for small browns, little creeks, brook trout just go nuts for this fly. And I tie it pretty small in a size 8 on a B10S Gamagatsu hook. I also can tie it in a 10 and a 6 as well. But today we'll tie on an 8. We'll start with some Vivas A dot thread in brown. And the first material we're going to work with is going to be the tail material. We're going to start with some micro size velvet chenille in a rusty brown. We can also use ultra chenille. We're going to tie it in so that it's about one and a half to two times the length of the shank of the hook. And I just lay it right on top of the shank. Now the next material we work with is some tan thin foam, two millimeter. I've cut it kind of at an angle so it's thin and then gradually gets thicker as you work forward. I'm going to cut that in half with a thick part and a thin part. The thin part goes on the underside of the fly which we'll start with here first. This is the, probably the trickiest part of the fly. You have to tie it in centered underneath the underside of the fly while dodging the hook point. So it takes a little bit of practice. I kind of flip flop from one side to the other to try to keep it as even as I can until I get to the back. And once you do that you can just spiral your thread forward. No need to make it look too pretty. Just kind of condense it and lash it down. The next thing we're going to do is tie in the top which is the thicker portion of that piece of foam but again I start with the thin portion first and then wrap back up onto the thicker portion as I work my way to the back of the hook all the way to the tail and I'll bite through that foam as I progress forward again no need to make it look pretty just kind of lightly compress it and get it as even as you can. Now this is where we differ from the original hood rat. Uh, since it's so small we can't really do it the same way where I kind of take the rabbit strips and pull them to each side and fold them over. Uh, for one rabbit's way too long for this size and also you just don't really have enough room and it just doesn't look quite as even if you do the fold over technique. So the first thing we're gonna do is take that underside piece of foam for the belly and I'm just gonna pull it forward. I'm going to lay down a tight wrap, a second tight wrap, and then just kind of do two more gradually tighter wraps. And that'll just be the underside of our little hood rat. Now we're going to take our pine squirrel. This is what I've had to substitute for the rabbit for this size of fly. So pine squirrel is much shorter and finer fiber. So I take a little smith section here, about an inch long, and I want to tie this section in so that it's the length, so that that hide is the length of the body. So I just kind of take the material and just pull, pull it forward until I get the desired amount hanging off the back of the hide. And once I have that, I can just tie it in along the side of the shank of the hook. Then I can trim out the excess hide. Any of those trapped fibers there, you can also trim those out of there. Now I do the same exact thing here on the far side. So I just measure out my hide, making sure that it's about equal length to the body and also the other piece of hide that I tied in. You don't want to have them be different sizes, that's not the idea, so make sure that you measure carefully before you tie it in. Trim off the excess. There 
we are. Then we can take our top foam and pull it over the top of the fly. Do a nice tight initial wrap. Then gradually kind of get tighter and tighter with your each progressing wrap. Then we can whip finish. I like to use an extended sized whip finish to kind of creep over that foam. You can also use your hands if you know that technique. Then I get on the underside of the fly here. I lay my scissor right up against the underside of the foam. I pull the underside and trim. And that'll get pretty close to like a little nub of foam there and also leave enough room for you to get your tippet through the eye of the hook. Then we trim the top portion of the foam. I just pull the foam forward about an eighth of an inch away from the hook eye and trim. And you'll get a nice rounded little lip there. And that's what's going to create that little mini wake of your little mouse swimming across the top of the water. Now, tied a little different than the original, but it's all scaled down. And what happens is when this gets wet, these little strips just lay right back as you strip the fly along the side of your fly. So they're not lashed to the side like the original, but in essence you get the same type of action in a nice tiny little package. You can see here the size of my fingernail and the size of that fly. It's real small. I've had little brook trout in high mountain lakes and creeks just go absolutely bonkers for this little fly. They just kind of attack it and annihilate it. Same with little browns as well. But that is the little hood rat.